The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Borussia Dortmund. They take on Inter next on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Inter. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Niklas Zule starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. Julian Brandt plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. Starting lineup. Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. Champions League final we're about to find out which team is the best in Europe Lukaku Barella has it oh a nice looking pass oh but just unable to unlock the defence well who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events no reason at all why it won't be this man Stuart what do you anticipate seeing from him well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. On to Chalhanolu. Bellingham. Brandt. Brandt. Malen with it. Now he must favour the cross. And Bellingham. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. But it wasn't a taxing save. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Oh, they've lost it. Brozovic. Good visualisation and execution. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. 
Martinez. And a body in the way. Barella. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Bellingham. Poor pass. Martinez. And here's Chalanoru. Barella. And he might be through here. And it has arrived. The opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement. And what a clinical finish this is from Lataro. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Well, back on the way here. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not Dortmund can find the right reply. Guerrero. Karim Adeyemi. Well, far from the ideal pass. Emre Can. Now with Alaire. Well, visionary passing. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory the second half of the Champions League final begins the referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour must take the lead here oh he's been denied and they remain locked together well that's a good save but really he should have scored from there that's a big chance And over comes the corner. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. Chalanolu. They're really pressing their opponents. They've given it away. Barella. And it's with Dumfries. A real opening now. Mats Hummels with that important block. Well, I've been impressed with Inter's general play. They've passed it well, they've had some good movement, and they've created numerous chances, as you can see. But their finishing just hasn't been good enough. Well, they have the ball now. Let's see what they can come up with. Lukaku. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Adeyemi. Alain. Guerrero. He continues his run. 
Crossing opportunity. Top class defending. Into the final 20 minutes. Guerrero. Gives it a go. Superb block. Oh, that is a superb save. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not all that convincing defensively. Zule. On to Jan. Can he give them the lead? Oh, it's a goal! And that gives them the advantage. Will they be able to keep it? Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Just 10 minutes to go. Lukaku. Chalanoru. That's useful play. And he has players waiting at the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Barella. Matteo Damian. Time and the scoreline. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. How about this? Borussia Dortmund have only gone and won the UEFA Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat, but what an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Borussia Dortmund. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. These are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.